What's up guys? So we've all heard about Tesla's build quality, their paint issues, panel gaps, panel gaps, panel gaps. They're missing items and the overall shoddy build quality with Tesla's. Today we're going to go through a delivery checklist with Alex. Hi. Who works at Tesla? I just picked up this brand new Model 3 Performance Sleeper. Video on that coming soon on what a sleeper actually means. And we thought it would be a great idea to double check the delivery condition against this Model 3 delivery checklist that I found online. This is a Model 3 Performance with red multiple coat paint, 18 inch aero wheels, black interior, autopilot and full self-driving. I brought this straight from the Tesla dealer and it only has 43 miles. So if you didn't know, Tesla actually gives you a grace period after delivery. It's 100 miles or seven days, whichever comes first. So we're gonna skip all of this because this is the information you need for the dealership itself. And this is an actual inspection. Let's see, check for correct vehicle body, color, and wheels. Does this look like what you ordered? It kind of looks orange on this camera right now. Okay, so the first thing is, inspect body exterior paint for defects. Personally, I would inspect the whole exterior because there's no point in just like isolating that. It's good to just do a whole general walk around. Okay. So, first thing you would do, or I would do, always look for like obvious paint defects. Um, any little like, you wanna look at the gap and make sure nothing is like too far apart or maybe the panels are like oddly uneven of some sort, you know? That's very important to look at when looking at these cars. But I mean, this looks nice. Yeah, it was pretty good quality, right? Yeah, if you see like all the panels like line up very nicely, they're all flush. I don't see any obvious paint defects. Nothing sticking out, nothing unusual. Hmm. Something else to um, look at is like around here. This is a good indicator to see if like everything is still lining up perfectly or there's like a good gap. But any of like the chrome fittings can be shifted slightly or like it would indicate um, bad door alignment, this would be a good spot to like look at, definitely the chrome parts. But it seems like there's nothing obvious. The sensors look okay. The gap all around. So far, so good. So I found one small defect. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. If you can, I don't know if it'll come up on the camera. If you find something wrong within the first 100 miles, seven days, whichever one comes first, or you find it upon a delivery, Tesla is definitely willing to work with you. As far as alignment goes, this, this looks good. You want to take a look at where all the glass pieces are put together on the car, because when they put the glass together, it can accidentally hit other pieces of the glass or the body and can crack. We found another dent. It looks like either something hit it or it's a defect. I don't know if you can really tell on the camera, but it's right there next to the bottom of the T. And then there's also another small paint defect right there. You can barely see as well, but another small, small defect on this Model 3. Let's look at the sensors, but if there was something wrong with the sensors, it would obviously be going off as you drive. It's saying that it's being hit or something if there's a scratch on the sensor. So that's kind of like an easy way to check without checking. Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Inspect wheels for damage. It looks good. So what, how do you put the hubcaps back on? You just slam it in? Yeah, but you want to like, this oh. is really important. This is where the oh. valve stem goes. A lot of people don't line that up and then slap it in. And then <laughs> So the next thing on the list was to check all the wheels. They have to take off all the hubcaps. Oh. Okay. A lot of the damage you'll see when people are mounting on tires or dismounting is right around the rim here. So you actually have to take off the hubcap to inspect further. You can only see about up to this little lip with the hubcap on. So it's not a bad idea to take it off. It's not gonna kill you. It takes a couple of seconds, you know? Next thing on the checklist is to test all the doors to make sure that they close and open super properly. This one says, without unreasonable effort. I wanna underline this because like, just because it opens and closes, doesn't mean you're supposed to like hear a certain noise or like have a little bit more of a struggle when opening and closing. So that's also very important for a smooth operation. Okay. Yeah. All right, now do you like lightly? Oh, uh, lightly? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Here's like, 
These should be able to, to have smooth, like, closing. Actually, normally, when you do this, it locks. You see how it bounces back? Try that one. That's what it should be. Oh no, I did it. Yeah, but with the same effort. Close that one. Mm. Okay, so like, not too light, but then not too strong either. There's oh, no yeah. bounce back. Right. Nothing wrong with the vehicle whatsoever. It's one of those things where like, if you have an extremely light hand and like, you're very particular about things, that, that's something you're like very lightly noticed. But other than that, like, there's nothing wrong with the vehicle. This one too, though. Dude, the car is like freaking out every time you do it. <laughs> no, it's the window. <laughs> No, 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 no. Push it again. Look at the nav screen. When you push it. <laughs> We're definitely gonna break this car. So the next few things are to test the windows, to test some more of the doors, test opening the trunk in the front, and to make sure the towing, the towing eye is under the trunk mat. We tested all those things and it seems to be okay. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the next thing after that. Nice. Smooth? That was very nice, actually. Oh, these are great little grocery bag holders. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Cool. Yeah, if you buy groceries, you know, just to come over. They're actually there for a reason, not just for like ugly design. <laughs> um, tow hook cover? Yeah, right There's there. There's a tow hook cover. Okay. I have to say, the road is really nice. Wow, it's actually very nice. One thing I noticed, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, is there's these white specks all over this panel cover. Might have been from the detail. Looks like it might have been soap. They're washing the car and it got inside. Um, but I'll definitely have to bring this up when I go back. Did okay. you check your USB ports? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't even know there was USB ports right here. Check your USB ports. Oh, make sure they so are fancy. fully functional. And then check the rear seat thing to make sure it comes down, right? Oh yeah, always check. But always check for that and just make sure everything looks sound, but looks good to be honest. Okay. I don't see anything wrong. And of course, always check for seatbelt function. That's just like... Oh yeah, make sure. That's a safety thing, you know? Welcome to LA. The car already has a thin coat of dust on it. I don't see anything that was honestly built wrong or anything kind of incorrect. Everything that I see seems to be like a cosmetic thing where if when it was shipped, it could have gotten damaged along the way. Just small cosmetic things. But as far as the build quality, I don't see anything actually wrong with it. Thanks for doing this with me. Everything is functioning as designed. Thank you, bye. So luckily when I was taking delivery, I actually noticed the one thing I knew I had to check was to make sure I had the mobility charging kit with the J1772 adapter. It's typically under here, but when I checked it at delivery, I didn't find it at all. Or thankfully I checked and the supervisor was able to give me a brand new one before I left and I came home. <laughs> Most of the remaining things on the list is in the interior. Test your windows, test your display screen, test the glove box. Most importantly, test the seat adjustments and the mirrors. So the process that Tesla told me is that once you find a defect, so you have to bring it back to the showroom and show it to the delivery specialist so that they can take a look, document it, and then verify that the car still has 100 miles. After that, they give you a due bill and you have to come back within 60 days to get that piece repaired. So thanks for watching. I bought this Model 3 as a commuter. I wanted to make videos about it. I wanted to Turo it. And I wanted to really test the full self-driving capabilities in Los Angeles. So if you're interested in any of that, hit that like and hit that subscribe. See ya.